Hey guys, welcome to your um, general reading for Pisces. Uh, what does your guides, angels, and ancestors want you to know for November 2022? This reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. You can apply this to any replacement, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that this message is not really uh, meant to be crosswatch, twisted, flipped, or reverse. Uh, this reading is more so for the um, Piscean individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? So um, Pisces, tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces guides, angels, and ancestors want Pisces to know for um, November 2022 for Pisces here? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Cups. Seems like there's new beginnings that are coming towards you here, okay? Seems like there's a breakthrough, an awakening, okay? There could be new love that's coming towards you. You could be starting something new here for uh, yourself here. Um, we have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. And the Three of Wands, you're definitely planning a future here for yourself, okay? And I feel like you have full support from your guides, angels, and your ancestors here, okay? Even the universe, too. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag with the Knight of Wands. We have the Devil here. And the Emperor. Okay. What's happening here is I feel like you're getting out of this, like, very dark and negative energy that you've been in here, okay? So I feel like you're breaking breaking free from these change of this Devil energy, and I feel like there's an energy of you stepping up and really taking action for yourself and not letting this energy stifle you here, Pisces, okay? The Ace of Swords, I mean, if you're still in this energy, you're being asked not to, you know, hold on to this energy anymore. Ace of Swords and the Death card, Scorpio energy here. We have the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Wands. What's happening here is I feel like you're going through a major, major, major transformation here. So I feel like there's a huge paradigm shift from this like devil energy to this like more lighter energy here, okay? Uh, you guys could be overcoming some trauma, some major trauma that you've been through here, okay? Uh, the uh, Knight of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Three of Wands here, and the Seven of Cups. There are opportunities, there are doors opening for you here, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys right now are learning a lot about yourself, okay? And this is about, you know, some major lessons here. There's major growth happening here for you guys, okay? The uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Seven of Cups, the Devil and the High Priestess, the Emperor, and the Six of Pentacles here. So I feel like you choose the light over darkness here. That's what I'm getting, okay? You're choosing to trust your own intuition, okay? You're choosing to trust yourself instead of like these dark energies that have been surrounding you here, all right? What else do we have here for Pisces? From their guides, angels, and ancestors, what else does Pisces guides, angels, and ancestors want Pisces to know for November 2022? What do they need to look out for and work on here? Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands and the Magician, and the Two of Wands here and the Six of Cups. This is about letting go of the past here. No longer sabotaging yourself in this like very negative, dark energy, the sad energy here, this depressed energy. Okay, we have the Page of Wands and the Magician. So I feel like what's happening here is I feel like you're confident or that you have what it takes to overcome some inner child um wounding here okay uh you know i feel like you're in this energy of definitely master manifesting or that you're manifesting your new destiny here okay the two of wands and the six of cups yeah this is about letting go of the past and not living in the past anymore uh pisces 
okay? Tell me about the Four of Cups. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Seven of Swords here, and the Empress. Look at that. There could be new love that's coming towards you here too. You might be meeting your divine counterpart here, um, uh, Pisces. <sighs> the thing that I feel like that could be, you know, I feel like this individual that's coming towards you is someone who is very, 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 very protective here, okay? Uh, the uh, Page of Wands and Eight of Pentacles, the Magician here, and the Moon. Yeah, so I feel like you're working on facing your fears here, working on facing your shadow side here, Pisces. Cancer Pisces with that Moon. Tell me about the Two of Wands here. Why is the Two of Wands here? Two of Wands and the um, Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, and the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So this is an opportunity for you to heal from your childhood traumas. And I feel like you're really taking that opportunity to do that. Okay. So like I said, I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking you not to live in the past anymore. And, and, and so focus on, you know, learning from it and moving on from it. Okay. Um, yeah, see, and also I feel like you're manifesting a new destiny for yourself because I feel like maybe this imprint or these indoctrinations, uh, you're trying to uh, remove them or you're trying to heal from them, okay? Uh, sort of like past, it's, it's past trauma that you're still holding on to or that you're dealing with here, okay? What else does uh, Pisces need to know regarding their, uh, what else does Pisces need to know from their guides, angels, and ancestors here? What else does Pisces need to know from their guides, angels, and ancestors here? What else does Pisces need to know from their guides, angels, and ancestors here? What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have Druid, hold space. We have Hermit, retreat and recharge. So I feel like that's what you're doing here. I feel like you're holding space for yourself to retreat and recharge. And I feel like what you're, uh, what you're doing here with the High Priest is intending and creating. So I feel like you're setting your intentions and I feel like you're creating you're manifesting your own destinies here okay so um yeah we have earth guardians stay rooted and grounded here so i feel like you're trying to ground yourself okay i feel like you're trying to ground yourself here so um pisces this looks really really good i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye